are some local artists working in the music industry. How things been going? How's music? How's life? Their passion goes beyond the notes on a page. It's an incredible practice of freedom, and it is also uh, like the most incredible mechanism of healing. Michelle Rocket has been in a Denver band for the past 10 years. I am in a band called The Milk Blossoms and I am beatboxing and singing. And says sometimes it's been difficult performing as an artist of color. That starts to wear at you over time. And so it's really difficult being an artist of color to, to sort of see how your, your life is perceived by others. She says it was part of the reason why she went into recovery for alcohol and substance abuse. I've been a sober artist for my entire 20s and now into my 30s, and I've noticed how much the music industry is centered around drinking or drugs and substances. I lost my brother to a, a drug overdose in 2015. So the first time that we're doing that is actually this Saturday. This weekend, Rocket will be talking about her experiences with other artists at the Underground Music Showcase. We know a music festival that has a different focus this year with a new collaboration. Let's pair music and mental health and get folks the support they need. Jamie Duffy is the executive director of Youth on Record and the new co-manager of the festival. She says they saw the partnership as an opportunity to address mental and sobriety care for their artists. The last two years have been brutal for a lot of folks. And so our focus at the festival on mental health really came from our community, saying we need support, we need resources. Yeah, it's been insanely difficult for all of us in the entertainment and music industry. Casey Berry is the co-owner of the music festival <laughs> and says this year they're featuring an artist care lounge where musicians can come and relax in an alcohol and substance free space. I think we're so motivated to help our bands and artists and our venues, everybody that works in the festival to take a second, appreciate themselves and appreciate the others around them. And we're trying to give as many resources as possible. The organizers hope this festival will bring an awareness to mental health. We really are committed to being a part of the solution. And make an impact with artists like Michelle before and after they take the stage. In order for us to continue to be a community that is healthy and that is worthwhile, there does have to be emotional safety. For Nine News, we can gain emotional safety and sustainability with sobriety. I'm Byron Reed.